everyone. <coughs> Excuse me. I hope you are doing well. Um, for uh, class eight today, I thought uh, let's do a bit of uh, formats also. And um, this is your syllabus for the formats. These are the formats that we have to cover in class eight. Um, I have sent you a screenshot also. So I'm just going to read out, and then you can uh, view the video later. So the first thing that we have is letter, which comprises of formal and informal letter, article writing, debate writing, speech writing, report writing, diary entry, paragraph writing, story writing, biographical sketch or character sketch, brochure writing. This is new. This has been. This is included this year. Dialogue writing. No, excuse me. So you don't have dialogue writing. This is for class ten. And then you have advertisements. This is your syllabus for uh, for the formats for class eight. And um, uh, when I'm asking you, what do you understand by 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 letter? What is the meaning of letter? Say, for example, if I say I received a letter, what does that mean? In my understanding, letter means it is a mode of communication, like how people talk. So this is a written form of communication, I should say, between the sender and the receiver in a written form. Yeah. So if I am sending a letter to you, and if you are receiving the letter because I sent it, and the, if the if the communication is in a written form, it is called a letter. So you have two categories of letter. One is a formal letter, and then you have informal letter. So whom do you send these formal letters to? Say, for example, uh, let me just rub it up. Say, for example, let's say um, you're not feeling well, so you send me a letter saying. Um, that uh, kindly grant me one day's leave because I am not well. Yeah. So if I am sending a letter which is work related only, so say for example, which means that if the mode of communication between the sender and the receiver is for work only, you call it a formal letter. So say for example, if I am working, I am working in a school. So who's my employer? The principal. If I am sending a letter to my um, employer saying that I'm I want two days leave because uh, I'm not well so the the letter that I'm sending to my my employer is for work related only I'm not sharing any personal information so formal letter is a letter that is work for work only and we do not share any information I, I cannot say um, or you cannot say Respected ma'am, kindly grant me, dear ma'am, kindly grant me one day's leave because I'm not, I'm not really feeling well. Oh, that reminded me my cat died and also my my dog broke his leg and we bought a new sofa in the house. You cannot share any personal information like that. You have to stick to the point and you have to write the purpose of the letter which is work related only, only for work. You're not sharing any personal information. All right. Informal letters is that is sent to um, family, friends, relatives, and this is where where you can write. Um, I'm inviting you for a birthday party. I'm inviting you to attend my brother's wedding. You know personal details. I'm inviting you to to come and spend your summer break with with my family, and um, you're writing a writing a letter to your father, your mother. This kind of personal information is shared in informal letter only and formal letter is for work only. There are a couple of uh, categories. Let's say for example informal letters because we are doing formal letter and um, so I'm going to talk about that. So basically today we are covering two. We are covering formal letter and we are covering diary entry. So the diary entry is something that class 10th is also doing. So that is why I have uh, uploaded a video for class 8th and class 10th um, together. Don't get confused. This is for diary entry 
format is for class 8 also and class for 10th also. Okay. And the second one is formal letter. Now, say for example, now nowadays um, everyone is trying to place an order online. I'm sure you must have also uh, tried to buy something online. Um, starting people have, have uh, maybe they want to save time or you have a wider range of variety. But there are people who, uh, who buy everything uh, on the on internet. So now one of the um, easiest and I should say popular um, shopping websites is Amazon. So let's say for example you purchased uh, a computer, a laptop on, on, on the internet and on arrival when you receive the computer you're not happy because the make and model of the computer does not meet up to your expectations. You wanted what you wanted did not come so you want to return it back you want to send it back and you want your money or you want a replacement so and this is for work related only isn't it you're not sharing any personal information so you're writing a letter to the to the manager of Amazon saying that I'm not happy with the product so I'm sending it back and these, these are the details and please replace or refund so that is a complaint letter isn't it when you are you're not happy about something and you want to write a letter. So you call it a letter of complaint. Okay, I have written it down here also in case if you can see. Letter of complaint. Let's say for example if you want to buy something. Yeah. And uh, but you want to write a letter. So placing an order. If you want to place an order to, to for something. You can write a formal letter if you want to cancel an order as i said you want to, you you bought something you wrote a letter saying i want to buy and then you said oh no 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 let me just not buy it so you want to cancel that order you write a cancellation letter inquiry letter if you want to ask for something if you want to inquire uh, about something you want to get some information about something about anything maybe a product or anything you write a letter inquiry letter right in the letter of complaint, this is a frequently asked question, so that is why I am repeating. In the letter of complaint, what happens is that, say for example, you are not happy um, with the stray dogs that you have in your locality. Say for example, I live in uh, Skara and I am not happy with the number of stray dogs that we have in our, in our locality, in our colony. And there is always a danger of, of, uh, of someone being bitten. Uh, someone attacked by by dogs and uh, and you want the administration to know as in what is wrong what is happening in your locality so you write a letter of complaint again yeah and you want that letter to be published in the newspaper you want to write an article about the menace about the the the, the kind of uh, problems that you are facing due to stray dogs in your locality so you are writing a letter to the editor of a local newspaper. Basically, don't get confused, you are writing a letter of complaint because you are complaining about, about the situation. So that is called a letter of complaint. Okay. So these are different categories of letters that we are writing. So we are today we are following formal letter only. Okay, let me just flip it around. Uh, 